he's cut in half. He can't go. No. It tis but a scratch, no, my lady. No, it is not. I don't care if it's not professional <laughs> to have a business walking around topless. Classic Devil May Cry. Why is there a sword spinning in there? Why is there not a sword spinning there? There is a sword. That's why I'm asking if there's a sword. Why would there not be a sword? It's Devil May Cry. It's all about style. This footage contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. Oh no, cover your eyes, children. That means it's full of coolness. Bro, Dante just stepped on me. Yo, Dante's the first step on me person. <laughs> Capcom's been thinking way ahead, bro. Oh my gosh. Stand aside, Dimitrescu. Oh my gosh. No, we don't need to see this because they're going to replay that anyways. Anyways, we're here to Devil May Cry. Welcome, guys, to the Miss and Mr. Gaming channel. Today we are going to be playing Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening. Don't forget to like this episode. Let me know what your favorite part is. And stay tuned to watch us completely annihilate and own this game like a boss. All right. New game. I'm actually very excited. Tutorial on? Yes, because I don't really know how to play this game yet. I thought we were going to own this game, though. Uh, I do own this game. I bought it for like $10. No, I mean like we were going to own it for, you know, like, like, like you know, own I, it. I mean, I, I mean, you're right. There is a thing to be said about digital versus physical. Oh my gosh, this no, that's not... This is a digital not, game that I bought from no, the eShop. No, that's not, that's not what I so, mean. So, I mean, I don't think, I don't <laughs> completely own this because you never know when, you know... That is not what I mean and e you know it. go down or whatever. <laughs> But we're going with the freestyle, guys. <laughs> this is a Switch... Ex well, it's not exclusive port, but, like, it's a Switch port that has a... From what I remember, I think they added the whole freestyle thing going on in here. Where you can change styles on the fly. Cool. Yeah. For anybody new here, my name is Anna, and my fiancé's name is Kevin. Welcome to the Miss Mr. Gaming Channel. Hey, Devil May Cry... I mean, I mean Dante. <laughs> I wonder how much protein Dante eats. Oh, he eats a lot. Look at all it that. It looks like he's just eating pizza. Yeah, pizza's full of protein. Be like, that's a protein pizza. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's how I uh, handle my business. That's why we never get sales. <laughs> <laughs> that's <is> terrible. <laughs> Did you see how much cheese was on there? Oh my gosh. He Bro, took a bite and it was like a really thick, long trail. That's how you know it's good pizza. Actually, for pizza, for me, the most important thing is the sauce. For me, it's actually the cheese. I guess it's kind of both. And the crust. No, it's just the cheese. You know, the crust, the sauce, and the If it has cheese, cheese on it, and it has, like, pepperoni or something, then I'm good. Also, the toppings. I don't even care that much about the crust or the sauce. The toppings are very important. Too. Everything about a pizza is very important, guys. I actually think I prefer white sauce oh, to God, red sauce. God, the look on this guy's face. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at Dante's cleavage. That's the stuff. No, he's looking at the red crystal. Why is Hitman here? That's, like, freaking... What hit. happened to his face? He's he's giving me an invitation to something. Dante's like, wow, now I have to actually stand up. Do you know? <laughs> Except he never actually stood up. He's still kind of sitting down. Uh, he well, doesn't, now he's he doesn't really up. want to stand, okay? To smash. No, that would be How sick, man. How did that man. pizza fall so slowly? Oh. Wow. I guess dead. you're not going to eat that pizza? That's it. We're done. What the fudge is even happening in this game right now? We just got demolished by a whole bunch of demons. Or that's what they want you to think. He's cut in half. He can't go. No. It tis but a scratch, no, my lady. No, he is not. He is really cut up there. Tis but a scratch, bro. He has bro. a bleed going through his I heart. still need to get this pizza. I just want to eat no, this pizza. No, and you know what? his leg. I vibe with uh, Dante. And his arm. No. Ugh. Oh my gosh. No, there's not even a, a wound opening there. That's a very strong <laughs> fan, bro. Oh, yeah. Rock and roll. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm very confused. Why is he invincible? The jukebox isn't working, Anna. It's because he doesn't ever play his electricity bills. They've established that in the first game. Oh, yeah. Dante's poor AF, bro. The demon hunting business isn't really uh, profiting. Profi or he profitable? just spends it all on super expensive pizza. I mean, bro, if you have the money, man, freaking get that good-ass pizza, you know what I'm saying? Right, but he doesn't have the money because he can't no. pay for his electric bill You're afterwards. Right. So Maybe it's cheap pizza because we get cheap pizza. You know, we get freaking pizza, a whole pie for like two ninety nine sometimes. So like, freaking yeah, go for that. I don't know, dude. I feel like in this cutscene, I don't think they wanted you to focus on the pizza so much. Not gonna lie, I'm still thinking about the pizza though. I know, I'm freaking <laughs> hungry, bro. But this is badass. Look at this. It is all about style. 
Don't I don't. Cry three, I man. still don't understand how he's not bleeding at all. Can he control time or something? Like, what is what is he's happening? He's a freaking demon. He's a son of Sparta, Anna. Do you know the story of Devil May Cry in general? Yeah, he didn't pay his electric bill, and so they forced him to go and work underground so he could pay his electric bill. He met up with Cloud, got the Buster Sword, and is oh, now back here. Don't do not disrespect Dante, <laughs> bro. What? Why is having the Buster Sword disrespectful? Because they, they, the Buster one has nothing cool. to do with the other. It's not a Buster Sword. It's the freaking the uh, <laughs> the rebellion, bro. Oh wow, that lady has a beast head and boobs. Huh? Oh, I didn't see that. That was a that. very weird statue. Hmm. Oh man, I didn't. I didn't actually. I did not know how I feel about that. Can I go that. back? Let me customize again. Oh, she got you right. That's kind of weird. Okay, let's go on. Yeah, all right. It's feel probably it. just a mask. That's feel just it. weird. <laughs> Mission start. It's a crazy party. Oh shoot! I can taunt in this game. All right, cool, cool, cool. I don't know how to play this, but I learn fast. I got a red orb. You can switch styles, um, just like in Devil May Cry Five now. Cool. At least that's what I think. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I know that. All right, cool. And then this shoots. This is classic Devil May Cry. This was like a a return to form for when Devil when this came out. Devil May Cry 1 was great. Devil May Cry 2, for the most part, people hate. You know, I, really I, like. I like the way this game is playing. Yeah, it's freaking it it's good. good. It's good. It's really good. It's a really good game. I played it back in the day, I think. But I barely remember the game, you know? What is a game that you actually do remember? Because it seems like you barely remember most of the games that you played back in the day. Well, I mean, I was very young when like I played a lot of the games that I played, you know? And then I stopped because, you know, adulthood, or not even adulthood, teenagehood, really. I became super angsty and teenagey and decided that I was too cool for video games. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what I no, I just <laughs> didn't have money for games, you know. So I couldn't play most games yeah, uh, except for enough. Pokemon. Not even Pokemon. I missed out on a huge, a few generations in Pokemon. But uh, but you know, whatever it is what it is. But I do remember playing this. I feel I seem to think that sometimes maybe you didn't actually play it. I didn't actually play it. I just because like I don't remember actually having a disc. Oh, back in the day, though, I used to cheat GameStop. No. That's how I played a lot of the games. Don't Bro, do that, by the way, guys. No. What did you do, though? Um, you, I would buy, like, a used game and then return it, like, the, the, the in, after two days. I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of people do with I'm used pretty sure games. they still do that, yeah. Yeah. Bro, when we went over to GameStop, there was, uh, like, the Metroid Dread game, which had just come out, was being sold as a used copy. Yeah. Like, three days afterwards. Yeah, they do that. You buy it, and then you're like, oh, I don't want it anymore. It freaking sucks. The game doesn't work. No, I think they play it, enjoy it, and then they return it back, you know? Yeah, I used to do that. But like then a library, I, kind of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But after a while, um, they let... they. I guess, I guess it depends on the employee, because if they know what you did, then they're like, hey, listen, you can't be doing that. All you have to do is but go they to don't different care, GameStop stores every time. That's what time. I did. That's what I did. Buy one, one day at they one told me, and go to another one and return it afterwards. One day they told me, you can't do that. You, you literally just bought the game. Really? Yeah, and then they had to change some policy or something. I think everybody did that back in the day. So I, that's how I played most of the games that I had. I'm pretty sure people are still doing it. Because I didn't own any of the games. But I know the story behind this game. And I know pretty much all of the Devil May Cry lore. Um... This game is supposed to be the prequel to everything. This is the prequel to all the main uh, mainline Devil May Cry stories. He's just mad that he stepped on his pizza. He's not even that mad about the whole demon thing. Yeah, freaking... He's like, wow, that was a perfectly good slice of pizza that I had every intention of eating. Looks like this is gonna be one hell of a party! He keeps mentioning the whole party Let's thing. Let's go, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for one hell of a party. Invitation will be sent after. Eventually. What are you talking about, Hannah? To the party. To the one hell of a party. I got a B. Share this with a friend and tell them about the party. Yeah, we're having a party. Yeah. Date to be determined. All right, let's get us some, uh, I think we have to, we can upgrade something? Look Equip at the name of the guns. I, oh, it's Ebony and Ivory. Right. You know how Dante gives me the impression that he hangs out with a lot of strippers? Yeah. Does he just name his guns after his <laughs> most favorite no. strippers? Is that the what no, he's doing? No, no. The Ebony of uh, th these guns are very important to uh, to, da to Dante. By the way, they right, were made yeah, by because... somebody very, very important. Right, 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 right. But I'm pretty sure that he's naming all of his weapons after strippers. Um, no, I'm. Pr I don't. I'm pretty man, sure that's what he's doing. I wish I knew the exact lore. I don't think I can upgrade yet. I wish I knew the exact lore of Bruh, why. Every single time I see any of his weapons, they have super sus names. Ebony and Ivory isn't a stripper name. 
You go to a strip club, I'm sure you'll find an ivory. You'll and I'm find sure like, you'll find an ebony. Maybe a candy, maybe a. No, you'll go. You what do they? Have? have you been to one? You can find, you know, like crystal and candy. Oh my and god, ebony I think that, that's a stereotype. And... Dude, stereotype, bro. <laughs> you'll probably find a cherry if you want to. <laughs> A cherry? Yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, people pay top dollar for a cherry. In a- I knew a girl who named herself Apple. Apple? Apple's apple. a cute name, though. You got the apple bottom jeans, jeans, boots with the fur, the fur. Did Dante sneeze? <laughs> no, his nostrils just flaring. Oh, fuck. I think dude. he has allergies from the dust around him. <laughs> I, I, you, Bro, yeah, I get allergies from the dust, too, so I feel that, bro. <laughs> Can yeah. you imagine being a double hunter and being like every Allergic? single time yeah, no, I there's feel dust, that. You, like your nose Fudgy. twitches, like, yeah. oh my gosh, not That'd be again. hella annoying. Then your like, eyes are watering while Blasting you're trying knees. to fight the demons. Okay, cool. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Can I, I, I can switch styles, right? Yes, I can. Good, 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 good. Okay, boom. Switch styles on the fly. Look at that. Look at me being badass, dude. Yeah, freaking out. Uh, shoot, shoot. Nope. I'm gonna juggle you in the air for forever. Oh, you're dead already. Never mind. Those look like Grim Reapers. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there's like the the t- designs of a lot of the demons that will they cry. They've always been really, really good. You know, Bayonetta has a lot to uh, to thank uh, DMC for. You know, they borrowed a lot of their styles and stuff. Boy. Both of them are amazing. Yeah, both of them are good, bro. Someday we will see a Bayonetta slash Dante kind of crossover thing. Dun dun dun. I got their owned by different people. Yeah, they are. Same creators, sort of. Same dude. Right, but licensing reasons, I don't think they can do a crossover. Yeah. It'd be really cool. You know, companies have been known to do some crossovers. It'd be really cool. It'd be super hype. What is this? Why is that glowing? Ah, I got a vital star. What's that sound? Oh, shoot. Oh, oh. How are you? That's a very heavy heart that he's carrying. What do you... What, are you, what am I supposed to do with you? Oh, just shoot you? Oh, I can I can dodge. Okay. Okay, dodge like that. Very cool. Boom, 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 boom. Uh-oh. When they come in, it kind of looks like the scream face that comes briefly on the screen and then goes away. Yeah? Yeah. What's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like to me, like a drawn-out scream face <laughs> as they come in. Can I change? Can I move the camera? I can, sort of, but it's still tight. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? It's not something you, you know, laugh at. You know, because sometimes you have trouble uh, moving the camera. Can I get this just big just ball out of my freaking face? <laughs> this dude. Why? I, I just want to like aggro. I just want to. There you go. Oh fudge! It freaking Maybe hurt me. Maybe you're supposed to dodge. <laughs> I got too close. Too close to the bulls. Bruh. That's not, it was that's, just one ball. That was just one ball. Yeah, I don't know why just, I said ball. Alright, fine. I was being sus. Wow. You know what? Wow. At least you're sus. finally admitting it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Whatever. At least. This guy's having a really bad hair day. Or is that like a collar that he's wearing? Uh, it's a style, dude. You know? When is I was in high school, everybody used mad gel. They don't do that anymore, do they? Actually, they I don't know. They probably do. I'm not up to date with like the freaking latest hairstyles or whatever. I think what's in more in style is shaving off part of your hair. Yeah, but what do they do with the top part of the hair that, you know? You know, you leave it. With gel? Or hairspray? Do people use hairspray? I haven't seen people using hairspray. Hey, yo, comment down below what you use to do your hair. I think they just leave the top part, but you shave hey. different designs. Like, I've seen girls and stuff with different, like, shave designs and boys. Yeah. So I think it's like a, a trend or it's just popular now. Ooh. I don't know. Oh, this! All right, he's coming after me. I knew me. this one girl in university. Oh, and ow, she ow, had a. Uh, wait, wait! I got it. Can I? She had really long hair, and then she decided to um, get more of an edgy hairstyle because she didn't want to seem basic. So she shaved off the one half of her hair, and then did like a cool design in the shaved Ooh. part. It actually looked really cool. Oh right? shoot! But then when we went to classes, the teacher kept calling her out on it, saying yeah. that it looked very unprofessional, that she'd never get a job looking like that. Wait, what did she look like again? What was that? She had really long hair, right? Uh-huh. We had about the same length of hair, so we both had really long hair. And she decided that she didn't want to look so basic anymore, is what she called it. So she shaved off the one half of her head, okay? Okay. She left the top part, but she shaved the one half, and then she put like a zigzag design on the side. It actually looked really nice on her. I don't think I would like it on me, but it looked really good on her. Cool. So she did that, 
But then when we went to classes, the teachers would call her out saying that she looked very unprofessional. Oh, uh, I means kind of like the antiquated. one of the internships that she had to take, they told her that she could no longer intern there because they didn't want her working at that company looking like that. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, know? so she lost an internship because of that. But it wasn't really like, it was like... You know, it was like, ah, oh, whatever, we'll just go to another internship because she just needed to graduate. Yo, this game... But it was a bit annoying for her. Oh, shoot. Bro, this... Oh, hello. All right, so we're, we're, not, we're not doing a cakewalk here, bro. It low-key looked awesome on her, though. Yeah, some girls can pull off the short hair look, you know? No, I mean, it's just the one side, so she still had long hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that... just, like, halfway shaved on the one side with, but, like, yeah. a design. It looked cool. But, you know, some girls can pull that off. Like, a lot of girls can pull that off. It's just a style, you know? Yeah, but that style was not accepted. <laughs> at like, the I don't know, was long outside? hair at some point seen as, like, not cool for girls or whatever? Because, it should, like, weren't girls always supposed to have, like, their hair in a bun to show professionalism or something? So, every type of hair, I, don't know, I it's think, different, is, different, like... different uh, cultures. Yeah, it's just, like, a cultural slash, like, generational thing. You I know? know that over in uh, Ecuador, a lot of girls um, have only hair down to, like, their shoulders once yeah. you are professional because otherwise it's not seen as being as professional Shol yeah shoulder length so like everybody has shoulder length hair yeah it's, but at some point shoulder length hair was seen as like not good right I don't know so you know things freaking change I don't just do whatever you can do you know it's just whatever style you want to do just go with that oh the orchestra the professional orchestra I played at one time made some girl cover up her tattoo really in order to be hired bruh yeah she had a small tattoo about the size of like a 50 cent coin yeah. On her forearm. Basically. And they said, in order for you to keep this job, you have to cover that up every single concert. Otherwise, you can't play here. Oof. But then afterwards, I think they got rid of that because then there was a, another person who had some tattoos. But for guys, it was perfectly fine. But for girls, they didn't like it. That's dumb. Yeah. Hashtag. They ended up changing that afterwards, though. But it was like a few years where she was like covering up that tattoo all the time. And that was in a professional orchestra over there. Bro, be like Dante. Dante don't give a fudge. Dante made his own business. He's like, I don't care if it's not professional <laughs> to have a business walking around topless. Doesn't matter. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to eat my pizza, wear my red jacket, because that's what I think is cool. And that's what makes me feel comfortable. He's also wearing red, the enemy. Yeah. But Dante pulls it off better. Oh, the Grim Reaper. Dun, I kind dun, of look dun, he wants a jacket that looks like Dante's jacket. Oh, me too, bro. It looks so cool. They sold it. I would totally wear it. I, I remember at some, when, no, when Devil May Cry 5 came out. It has to be long, though. There was a, yeah. If it's not that long, it's going to look weird. No, but you know um, Dante's uh, jacket in Devil May Cry uh, 5, which is, you know, the same, same thing as this one, I guess? It's shorter, though. No, it's the same. His jacket is long. It's, just, it's a long red jacket, like OG. Yeah, they sold that with the uh, collector's edition, I think. No, no, they just sold, just some store sold it. I, I think it was officially licensed. You know who should license that is Hot Topic. I think some company like that, yeah. Um, I don't know if Hot Topic is what it used to be anymore. anymore. It doesn't have the Hot Topics anymore. <laughs> Oh no, I don't have an item, bro. You got zero in everything. Oh, fudge. This game's hard. Well, time to get good. That's our plan B. I, I gotta learn how to dodge. I gotta dodge, bro. Wait, have you not been dodging? Oof. Oof. This has now turned into a Souls game. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I'm trying to think like Elden Ring now. Cause There's only one hit, but we have to take out this massive boss. Yeah, just you don't got get this. Hit. Just don't get hit. Oof. Just <laughs> get good. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, I, I think he can I get me with one hit, I think we're into phase two now where he's faster. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're one hit. <laughs> Ooh. Dang, dude. You're doing really good. All those uh, hours in Elden Ring is starting to pay off. This is where it counts. Come on. Mm. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. No. Hey, you have one hit. Now you're definitely one hit away. Oh, God, Anna. <laughs> why would you say that? I was doing Be so well. Because you got hit, but you stopped. So I was like, you know, oh, now shoot. you have Oh, no shoot. All right, hit. all right. Whatever. Freaking screw you, freaking Grim Reaper. I gotta oh, my gosh. You were really close. Yeah, I know. I, was, got, I could have done it, too. You got cocky. You got too close. I was like, uh, I got. I started getting nervous. I'm like, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. What were, why were you nervous? I don't know, man. You make me nervous. How did I make you nervous? Freaking, I got a crush on you, bro. I want to take you out on a date, man. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I get nervous. Aww. Yeah, freaking get nervous. I'm freaking the need to impress. You know what I'm saying? 
Last off. Ridiculous. I want to be like Dante, bro. You know that cool. whatever you do, I'll be impressed. Hey, one of these days, like if I, you know, since we're going to the gym or whatever, if I ever get like ripped, because Dante's not like ripped, ripped, right? He's just like lean, you know? But if I ever get like Dante lean, I'm going to buy that jacket and freaking wear that and we can do cosplay, bro. Oh, we can do cosplay of Bayonetta and, and, um, and Dante. We can do that. You we'll know, be... by my estimation, we, um, might be around that point in uh, December of this year. December? Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Bro, that's like forever from here. I know. <laughs> or very close, depending on when you're watching this. Or we might already be there. Check out our um, cosplay on our Instagram or Twitter or whatever social media we're using oh at that gosh. point. Oh my gosh. You know, like eight or nine months. Yeah. Or not. Of being super consistent and not failing like at all. <laughs> you know. Oh no. Hey, I didn't get any damage, by the way. So far, it's going well. It's doing, going good. Oh, shoot. It's this guy. Da, 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 cool. You want to know something funny? What? I went on an orchestra trip one time, and um, they had two tents, one for all the guys to change in and one for all the girls to change in. The girls had no issue changing in front of other girls. All the guys were self-conscious, didn't want to take their shirts off. Oh, yeah? And they had to get ready for a concert, which we were going to play later that day. Like, we were in a situation that semi-sucked because we got there at, like, 7 a.m. And the concert was, like, at 10 p.m. And they didn't give us water and stuff, but whatever. Um, But when we had a change, like, the guys were like, oh, no, can I have, like, a separate room to change in, please? Like, all the guys were asking for, like, individual quarters to change in. And the (laughs) girls were just, like, stripping down, putting on, like, like, we had no issue changing. (laughs) Yeah, I think in high school, I don't know, see, because I can only... But the guys didn't want, and I was, like... What age is this, high school? I was around 15, 16, around there. But the guys in the orchestra were around 17, 18, on average. I don't know, man. Yeah, for me, I, I was super self-conscious when I was in high school. And I don't understand why, man. I was freaking... I wasn't that bad. <laughs> you know, freaking... But, like, none of them, like, looked bad or anything. Like, I don't know why, but they were, like... The director actually was making uh, a jokes about it during the rehearsal, which is how all the girls found out about it. <laughs> oh, fudge. All right. All right. He, he does two hits like that. Come on. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Come on. One, two. Okay. There you go. One, two, three. Ooh! One, two... Three, Nick, ooh, there two, you go. Three. Souls mechanics. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Boom. There you oh, go. He's gonna hit. Mm, mm, two and a boom, and then boom, uh, boom, back boom, away. boom. Oh shoot! Back away. Oh fudge! He. All right, come on, come on. As soon as he does. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, dodge and nope. Okay. I'm from, Just oh, one hit. Dodge. Back away. You got this. One, two, three. Dodge. Uh, no, dodge. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, two. Dodge. Yeah. You're boom, doing boom, really good. Boom. Yeah. Come on. I'm a freaking devil trigger, bro. I'm a freaking devil may cry, bro. Come on. Mm, yeah, and, and then two. Yeah, make that right, devil cool. cry. One, two, three. Oh, I made that devil cry, bro. I made that devil cry. Whew. Wow, I that think you good. rocked the city a little bit too hard, though. Yeah, that's how it go, bro. Mm. That's how I roll. Jackpot, am I right, guys? It's <laughs> a so devil may cry reference right there. Is mm. it? Yeah, he says uh, him and Virgil's catchphrase when they're about to be badass is jackpot. I did not know that. Yep. Hey, there's Virgil right there! I don't see him. I can tell. So, the whole premise of this game is, uh... Dante recently discovered that Virgil is alive. So this random-ass dude comes to his uh, office and says, Yo, come to this invitation. And he's like, why should I? And then he's like, Cause your brother is there. Who's Virgil? Virgil's Dante's brother. It's been mm. nearly a year since we last met. There you go. Where does the time You go? know, if you had, what like, defined abs like that, you think that you'd want to walk around shirtless, like, all the time? <laughs> I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I maybe I would. I feel like that's <laughs> yeah. what just Dante's doing. Dante's like, if like, I worked nah, out, man. bro, I, yeah, I'd be like, Dante's yeah. like, I worked hard for but this. I think for I'm the most go part, shirtless. you know, once you do get to that point, I don't think you do do that, because that's just, you know, weird, I guess. Dante's I been going through this phase for a while. But... But let me just, like, <laughs> you know how a lot of people say that girls are usually portrayed as, like, oh, too sexy or, or whatever, and then, you know, unrealistic expectations? Mm-hmm. Dudes are portrayed as this. This I'm, was the idea of cool back in the day. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. This is not overly sexy. This is just, you know, the standard for all men Right, everywhere. that's what I'm talking about. What is, this is not a standard for that's all dudes. That's the standard. Dudes. You know, everybody has a 12-pack, obviously. Yeah, you, people, dudes aren't, like, freaking, you know... Everybody walks around uh, Lean topless. like that with freaking six-packs and then walking around. 
Hey, I got S and Orb, <laughs> Stylish Point C, DSC, whatever, dude. B. Okay. Apparently, I'm I'm going for you the B ranks. You are badass. I'm going for the badass ranks. Ah, uh, it's Virgil. We're twins, by the way. Whose idea was it to dye both of their hair gray? That's uh, their natural hair color. It's not their natural hair color. That I mean, bro. That's not their natural hair color. <sighs> we we live in the demon world, dude. That the is last, not their natural hair color. This guy has two different eye colors. I don't think they're worrying about hair color. That's just how it is. That's cool, Anna. They That's how they designed. They were born with so much stress of being devil hunters that all their hair just turned gray immediately. So right now, this guy is talking about his glorious evil or something. Yeah, cool. What happened to his face? Did he have acid on his face or something? I oh, it's a burn. Know. It's a burn. Never mind. That's probably not acid. That's probably a burn. What? His hand is huge. What do you compared mean his to hand his is face? <laughs> he can cover his whole entire face with just the palm of his hand. Really? Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, if you cut off his hand and then move it up to his face, I bet it like the whole palm just covers his face. Well, I mean, you know, his hand bring it up looks to the developers, huge. I guess. There you go. His hands are it's, fine. It's so, it looks I mean, like they're, they're bigger than his foot. Yeah, they're kind of a little bit bigger. They're big. huge. I mean, if you really think about it. It's Look, his big. his head is smaller. His head is kind of small. <laughs> Virgil got I a mean, small there's head. nothing wrong with that. It's just that his hands are really big and his head looks smaller this for his shoulders. Like, oh God. That guy built up his shoulders a lot and for some reason was born with abnormally large hands. Hey, that's our girl. That's a lady up in here. What's up, lady? She's so hot. See, she pulls off the short hair kind of look. Short hair looks great look on that. Yeah, look at Lady, dude. She's cool. She's she's the, the coolness from back in the day. All these characters were designed to be cool, you know? Supposedly, um, there's, like, some way to measure your, your distance from your ear to, like, your chin or something. And then, like, based on that is, like, whether or not you'd look better with short hair or long hair. Look! Look at this scene. Look You're at the friggin' Slum Avenue. <laughs> look at this cinematography, dude. This is beautiful. Hey, Kevin, this is 66 Slum Avenue. It should have been 69 Slum Avenue. Wow, Anna, very, very mature. Thank you. Very mature. Thank you. I try. Ooh, what is this looking thing? They are You're eyes. Disgusting. Lots and lots of eyes. But you look so cool. You know what? I don't find them as looking disgusting. I find them as looking super, uh, super cool. Uh, jump two times as high as normal, but pushing off certain surfaces. Got it. Like this. Boom. Uh-oh. <laughs> they baited me. What the? What just happened? You fell for the trap of following the tutorial. What just freaking happened? You fell for the trap of following the no, tutorial. No, can I go backwards? Hold no. on. Let me check something. Can I go back? Secret. Yo, is it a secret? I don't know. I think it might be a secret, legit. Is it a secret? Oh, this is the same place where I'm... All right, let me freaking... Is Do it I... or is it not? I don't know. I think so. What type of secret would they hide here? I think, like, going... Because nobody usually goes back, right? I go back in every video game because usually I get turned around. Because what... Be, well, uh, yeah, and also because secrets. I get... Yeah, also, yeah, it's because I'm looking for secrets. Yeah, so then maybe this is... Oh, freaking... You do not get to... There's a lot me. of enemies here. It's almost like they want to discourage you from going in this direction. Right? This but is where I ignore, started. This is the past level. Let's ignore game design and see how far back we can take this. Clearly, they're hiding something of great importance. Maybe. I mean, I don't know, man. I'm just playing Where the game the way the I usually play Where is the waifu that you guys have hidden over here? Yeah, I think Lady's actually up ahead and not What is down. more important than a waifu? Um, being cool. Being cool. You being could have been cool. cool with the other enemies, though. Actually, you would look pretty cool next to a waifu. Am I right, guys? All right, now look look around and try to... Oh, try to jump in that building. I don't think you can. This is my this is my office. I mean, come on. This is, this is a secret, Kevin. We have to find the secret. Try jumping up there. Over can you here? go up there? No, nothing. There has to be something. <laughs> we can't just be dumbasses. I, feel, I just feel this is like, yeah, this is no, what this you No, this has to be something. I guess sure. it's nothing. Try jumping on the school bush, ricocheting off the opposite wall, and then climbing on top of that pillar. Nah, that's not it, man. You didn't even try it. I did. Look, I'm trying to ricochet it like, boom. Nope, no ricochet. <laughs> All right, whatever. There's nothing here. <gasps> that's a really lame secret. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but hey... True gamers, man. True gamers <laughs> check just, everything. That was such a lame secret. Maybe there actually was a secret and we just missed it. You think so? Maybe. If we missed a secret, let us know in the comment section down below. Be like, oh yeah, some of you, you guys, probably guys are... there totally is a secret. There was the door where you just skipped to the last end boss and you completely missed it. 
dumbass, you Dumb. know? And just bots. let us know. <laughs> like, bro, that's totally a speed run maneuver. You're supposed to go back and then shit. Yeah, and then you, you push you push let the left button like six times, the right button three times, and you then you do d up, down, up, down, and then yeah. all of a sudden you're, you know, in the post game. <laughs> <laughs> the post-game post and Devil May Cry games are just looking cool, basically. There's a post-game? It, it's basically because, uh, um, yeah, the post-game is you unlock, like, all the things, all your moves or whatever. So then you go through everything in extra hard mode. But this time you got all your moves and the game adapts so that they know that you have all your moves. So then you start freaking doing uh, your super combos that you couldn't do in the beginning, but now you can because you have all even the end game weapons. They don't or want you to replay the game with all your stuff. That's just what they do. That's what I'm saying. Like from the beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. That's, That's the end game. That's kind of cool. That's the end game. I would do that. I yeah. like being. I like I, feeling powerful. I want to actually replay Devil May Cry Five. You know, I, I really do want to replay that. I kind of like brute force my way through. You Heck, know? I almost played the whole game. That game is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty good.